So here's an example of making a footprint in Eagle. And you can use the grid functionality to do this fairly quickly. So I'm going to make a footprint for this smart card socket here. Um, so the first thing is you open up the data sheet. And often when you're really doing this, I would always just suggest printing it. Uh, and you'll, because you often need to mark up a few things on it. So the one, there's two versions of it here. Um, they were actually using the bottom one, but it doesn't have all of the markings on it. So I'm going to go from the top one here and we just won't have four extra pins. All right. So an Eagle will switch to a new package and let's make this whatever. So how I always make these packages uh, quickly is taking advantage of the grid um, command to give you convenient offsets from stuff. So for example, I'm going to start with these four holes in the corner. And what I'm going to use as a reference is this bottom left corner hole. So these holes are 3.2 uh, millimeters. So I'm going to first switch the grid to be in millimeters. Um, so let's put a hole here. And the holes are 3.2 millimeters in diameter, so we'll set the drill to 3.2. Um, now we see first, let's do this offset of 20. So just go grid 20 and pop one there and one there. Um, next thing we can do is type grid 58. And we can actually put a hole over here. Now the last thing we do is we need that upper right hole, so I just switch back to grid 20, the offset between the two, and use the copy command. And you click there, and this is giving you a 20 millimeter offset from your starting position, which is exactly what we want. Um, all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is these pads. So let's use a pad like that, and we'll rotate it. So it tells you these holes are one millimeter in diameter. So we'll change the drill to one millimeter here. Um, and we now are going to first do the offset from, um, or actually we'll do these top ones because we have an offset of 9.05 millimeters from this top hole here. Um, so from the bottom hole, it's 29.05. So I switch my grid to 29.05. Um, and I put one hole there. So you'll notice it's way off, not remotely where I need it. But all I do now is we have an offset of 11.96 millimeters, so grid 11.96. And we'll just move it over. Um, so this first hole is in the correct position now. Now each of these have a um, low distance in between them, I believe it's 2.54, it's specified somewhere, okay, there we go, oh, 7 times 2.54. So we just go grid 2.54, and I make, oops, I use the copy command, and then just make 8 copies of them. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, it tells us that these bottom ones are offset by 38.1 millimeters, so we'll go grid 38.1, um, group all these eight together, and then use the copy group command. And then just, oops, and just copy them down. You have to be careful that you keep the um, origin the same, so don't hold control like I did the first time. Um, because we're actually making this bottom footprint here, we only want four of each, so I'm actually going to delete the first four. Uh, I have a physical device to confirm sort of some of the measurements. And you can go ahead and name them. So we'll start there, C1, C, oops, C2, C3. If you're thinking ahead of time, you actually could have used uh, Eagle to automatically name them, but I was not thinking ahead of time. 
C6, C7, and C8. So there you go. That's a very quick and simple um, outline, but we also want to add a little bit of the physical dimension so we can add a nice silk screen maybe. Uh, unfortunately, this image doesn't give us the dimension, so we sort of have to infer them uh, from here. So we know the total dimensions is 62 millimeters, um, and it's about 40 millimeters this way. And I also realized I forgot these extra two holes here. And what I'm going to do is go grid 38.1. That's the offset 0.81. Copy. Um, and you just, again, just copied over. So you can see how you can use the grid command to really easily uh, deal with all sorts of different dimensions. And I'll rotate it back the other way. Um, and then again, these are 2.54 millimeters. And there we go. Um, so going back to the top. Switch, just switch the grid to something smaller, like one millimeter. Maybe that's too small, two millimeters. Um, and I'll put a T place. So I'm sort of just getting a rough estimate here, to be honest, um, because I know this is going to be close enough. Again, I have the physical device that I'm sort of checking this with. Um, so if we put that there, and we can check the size of each of these. So this is 60 millimeters, or 44 millimeters long, and in reality, this device is 40 millimeters, so that's a bit of safety, as I say, and 62, so that's actually right on. Um, so you could move these in a bit if you wanted, but I don't really care. Obviously, you can then put the name and value places if you want. And I always switch the font to vector. Makes it a little more reasonable. All right, so name and value. And you can add any other embellishments you want. But you can see how it's really quick to just make a footprint using the grid command to set your, your offset. And then just copy parts as you need them around. And then you can save your library and insert that somewhere. All right, hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.